Here we go, charging in with the Beastmen coming versus the High Elves on the Dragon. Archmage, really. What do we got? Pigman here wants to show me something, and I want to see it. I love me some Beastie Boys. No monsters here, unless you count the Feral Manticore and the Gorble. Plenty of Ungor Raiders, Spearmen, Centigors. Harpies to deal with anything in the air, which is, uh, well, not just anything in the air, but also dropping on those archers, which there are plenty of as well. Along with Sea Guard, Silver Helms, the Archmage of Life, so Healing Dragon. I mean, it's not Imric, but. It'll do. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I apologize. Uh, when you talk and commentate over a replay really fast, air builds up in your throat and just becomes, a. Uh, Quite annoying. So please bear with me. Here we go. Looks like Pigman's trying to get this hammer and anvil going. Putting his centigors over on the side. He's got raiders sitting here waiting. Bunch of pestigor in the front. I like the new addition to the pestigors. Um, adding them into the beastman roster feels a lot better. Some nice cheap, feel almost like shock, uh, shock troops really. Vanguard, armor piercing, lots of health. They'll die, but they won't die that fast. Not the greatest leadership, but they're good for what they can do. Poison, so if they stay engaged long enough, they'll become a problem. And they have a little bit of a debuff ability. Besides the poison, of course. And here comes that Doom Bull. I said Gore Bull. It's a Doom Bull. I forget. The Warlord's the Doom. Gore's for the hero. Lots of arrows coming in. Harpies waiting and trying not to get within range. Look at these boys. Chop, chopping their way through. Silverhelm's coming in for the counter charge. Good use of them, but I don't know if they were necessary. I think I would have waited for them to counter charge any centaurs trying to break into the archer line. <clears throat> and here comes the Doom Bull with that Daze ability. Man, do I love that Daze ability. Lowering speed and melee defense by 10. Well, melee defense by 10. I think it's like 10 or 15 speed. Something like that. Good Dweller's Bow. Uh, I don't know about... Uh, I think it's good Dweller's Blow on the Pestigors, but I don't know if I would have used it on Pestigors. You know what I mean? I think I would have waited to get some more blobbed up units here. Look at this boy just flying. Yeah, Dweller's Blow is a little weird here. Or even just using it on the Harpies, I think, would have been a little bit better, because they're already in the back line causing issues. I mean, yeah. But do you really want to use it on Harpies? I don't know. It's tough. I still feel like the Harpies might have been the better call. Because, uh, Elf Spearmen, I think, have, like, something between 40 to 50 melee defense, so they will hold out against Bungors. Or, not Bungors. <laughs> I'm thinking they're raiders. No, um, not even raiders. Spearmen or, yeah, the Pestigors. They'll hold on against uh, Pestigors for a while, even with all that health of theirs. But when you have something dazing them, uh, I don't know. And the arrows are able to take care of that. We have a Bray, a Bray Shaman with the Traitorkin hiding out on his little shopping cart, <laughs> being led by all those pigs. Shot down. Terror from the Archmage should be able to break most of these. And this is a very strange matchup, in my opinion. There's plenty of armor going around for the Hiles, but there's plenty of low armor here. But there's also plenty of armor piercing and good charging from both sides. Plenty of units on both fronts. There's healing, but also damage. Area effects. It's tough. Silverhelm's charging into. Your Centigore's charging into Silverhelm's, and. Pretty sure Silverhelms win that easy with all that charge bonus and the armor. And the fact they have more models there. Archer's just trying to pick apart anything they can <clears throat> on the high elf roster. And I understand the Feral Manticore in case the high elf player came in with the dragon, which they certainly did. Being able to double team that thing in the sky is nice. And it's a nice cheap... I really enjoy for Manticores. They're nice, cheap monstrous, annoying flyers. Just cause cheap fear or terror. Forget if they do one or the other. And get into backline. Solid stats. Not the best, but solid. The only problem is the rampage, but 
or the Enrage. That's a little price to pay for everything you get for 800 value. It looks like the Hyo player is getting decimated. Broken their lines, everything's in chaos, which I like to see. The Manticore and the Doom Bull just punishing that Archmage. Yeah, that minus 10 melee defense is helping out. 34 melee defense for the Archmage on the Dragon it really hurts. Yeah, you better start healing with that Earth Blood. You're gonna need it, friend. And even Harpies just to help chase it off and cause moral debuff. And yeah, it's not it's still pretty even. I think on the ground though, the high elf player still has it. But yeah, it's tough to say. If they would have kept their silver helms in line, I think the Centigors wouldn't be such a problem right now. Maybe even get some healing on them as well. But it's hard to heal when you have Traitorkin on the menu. Traitorkin will just take away from all that healing, so good on Pigman for doing that. I mean, Traitorkin and Dreno is such a good spell. But when you involve healing, it's a nice counteract to punish any of those healing builds. Yeah, I don't know. If you're a Manticore, it just seems like a... Uh, I mean, yeah, to fight the dragon's fine, but fighting it by itself... I think that is questionable in the build. But it seems to be working. Pigman knows what he's doing, so... Who am I to question that? Traitorkin... Uh, Traitorkin. The Bray Shaman is using Traitorkin right now as long as Earth... Uh, here comes the Earthblood, so... Yeah, Traitorkin. Come in to punish. That makes sense. And here comes the Doom Bull! Pushing that boy out of here. Here comes the Feral Manticore to finish it off. And once the Archmage is on its last leg, here comes the Harpies to shoot them off. And I think that's going to be GG's because there's really nothing else for the high players. Centicores are able to just run around, do whatever they need to. Doom Bull did pretty solid. Good overall 51 melee attack. Not bad, not bad. Good stuff from the Blood Greed. And yeah, that's going to be it. All right, let's go look at some value, folks. Let's look at some value. Eh, I don't know if the Doom Bull paid for itself. Definitely close. But even if it didn't, I think it's still pretty much worth it. That Bray Shaman Dove definitely paid for itself. No surprise there. Damn, things are dirt cheap. I think they're like, what, 1050? If you 1050, 1250, somewhere around there. <coughs> Centigors being the main damage dealers along with the Feral Manticores and the Pestigors. Well, I, I take that back. Then I see the Raiders. Yeah, Raiders are actually the secret sauce every time. But they didn't really do that great. Huh. Manticore at least paid for themselves. Archmage, pretty mediocre. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I would do there. Well, anyways, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, please like, sub, follow me here on YouTube. We're here trying to get a 1,000 subs and come see me on the stream. Come play with us. Have a good time. Alright folks, with all that said, y'all have a good one, peace, and goodbye for now.